Welcome back to Buckskin Lumber Company, guys. If you're new here, I'm Morgan, and today we're stacking up two sawmill lasers in a head-to-head -head shootout. One is cheap, one's premium, and we're going to run them in broad daylight, again at dusk, and you're going to be able to see what they're really made of. Stay tuned, and at the end, I want you to let me know what you think is the best bang for your buck. All right, first off, we're gonna start with the Amazon sawmill laser. It comes with a bracket. And this bracket is absolutely garbage. It's one of those clampy balls and socket things. Throw the stinking thing away. Get yourself a decent bracket. This one was also on Amazon. It cost $8.02, and I had to wait two weeks to get it. And it will actually work with most any laser. It's kind of chin, chintzy, a little flimsy, but it does the job just fine. Now, breaking down the Amazon laser itself. It comes with a full system to be able to plug it into a 110 outlet switch. I cut that at 110 to 12 volt adapter out, spliced in eyes directly to my battery. The switch right here is absolute garbage. Get rid of it as soon as you can and get a good switch. To the, to the laser itself, I will post the specs right here. One thing that I found with this laser is it has an adjustable cap here on the end for the definition of the beam. At the finest point up close and about two feet away, it equals about four inches of laser beam out there at about 30 feet. That being said, this little adjustable cap right here, as I was sawmilling the first time with it, it fell off. You know, quality says I'm going to fall off in the first use. So what I did was I got it back on, I got it focused as I wanted, and I glued it in place. Nothing says quality like having to glue it, right? Got everything squared up, trued. Uh, it has its place, right? Now we're going to move over here to the Borges Instrument Sawmill Laser. Right out of the box, this thing comes with the wiring system, the power supply to directly attach it to a battery. I had to put in a switch on the back side, uh, no problems there. The bracket that it comes with, this mount, has two magnets in it and it allows you to stick it into place. Get it all set up. It's adjustable via, via two Phillips head screws right here. Once you get it dialed right where you want it. You can mark and drill and tap, or you can just self-tap screws in to hold it right into place. Installation was super simple with both of these lasers, guys. Now let's get to the bones of what you guys are looking at. Performance, we're gonna do low light first, and so I'm gonna, oh wait, that didn't work. I'm gonna send us into a low light situation here real quick. I'm gonna turn out the lights. All right, guys, here we are in the low light condition. We have here the Amazon, and over here, the Borges Instruments. Okay. We have the Amazon set up specifically to go over and catch the front of the blade. And so therefore, it will usually get the front of the log as we're going in and show us exactly where our cut is. The Borges Instrument is set to run down the other the log stop side of the log all the way out so what i really want to show you guys is here at distance so this are the two lasers together okay when i turn off of the amazon you see the definition of the borgus instruments and that's at the end of my mill on the board there so 16 foot you can actually go out further. I got it out there. That's at about uh, 40 feet. That really stays defined. So I'm going to turn it off. Borges off. Amazon on. Now you can see the Amazon over there in the in the distance. That is about a four inch thick line out there, and that is only 
oh, probably 24 feet away from the sawmill. Okay, if that's 16, yeah, let's just say 30 feet. Let's just say that's 30 feet away from the sawmill. Big, big difference between the two here, guys. The definition of the line is clearly better with the Borgus instruments and it covers a lot more area okay we got the uh laser the we think laser. we think we got it timed on our board here so we figured we'd come out at night and check it out but ain't nothing safe from the laser around here that is some smooth laser action that's slicker than the whistle right there that's a an eight by eight that I milled up and I obviously set it up earlier today and everything looks true and it's pretty hard to beat from Borges Instruments right there. All right, guys, we're going to kick on the lasers. Surprisingly, the Amazon laser kicked on right the first time. The switch has been a problem. All right, guys, we're going to bring you in close here with the Borgus instruments. From about six inches in front of the laser is where it will tie into the log at the angle of being straight down your head. You can clearly see the laser line right here all the way down this 14-foot log to my pith indicator, the trusty old-timer. And now for the Amazon, and knowing its limitations from what I've seen during setup, I uh, gave it an angle. It is more towards the log itself at about a 45 as opposed to straight out. But what that allows me to do is to see the laser line on the log end right before my blade makes contact. Now you can see it here right at the tip of my finger right now and it fades out at about four or five feet down the log i no longer have visual of it right here okay if i were to come down here like i did with the borgus instruments and put my hand here there is no sign of a laser at all in conclusion guys my personal opinion is that the Borgus Instruments is far superior. Uh, I hope you guys saw that as well. The Amazon laser, however, has its place. I don't have to worry about it getting ripped off. I'm out $40 if something bad happens to that laser on the loading side of the sawmill. That being said, guys, no, uh, I have no affiliation with either one of these companies, but there are some kick-ass dudes that are. Two Guys Timber Framing has a deal with Borgus Instruments. You go to their page, I'll provide the link in my description. Watch their video, you can get a code to save some money on the Borgus Instruments. Amazon, it's cheap, it works, it has its issues, but you're just gonna be better off buying one of those. If you enjoyed the content that you got here today, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps us make free content for you guys, and we're not even being paid to do this. so. I just kind of enjoy it. It's fun with me and Garrett. You want to come over and say hi, Garrett? This is my videographer slash soon to be certified uh, sawmill technician, right? I guess. You guess? Yeah. Tell everybody hi. Hola. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching.